Good morning, I'm Kim Kirk. And I'm Mike Kudo. And today during Anchor, we will be taking some time to honor seniors for their outstanding academic work. Uh, each department at Seahome will share a few words to honor students that they would like to recognize for their academic strengths, resilience, teamwork, and or integrity. Our first department to present their awards is the CTE department. Please welcome Ms. Tucker, Mrs. Steyer, and Mrs. Height. First off, we have Ms. Tucker to share some yearbook awards. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Kudo. So um, the seniors on the slide here have been such a instrumental part of making the yearbook possible. This year has definitely been unique in terms of what the yearbook's going to look like, but there's some folks on this list that have been in yearbook for three years. They're editors, they're working really hard to make their um, impact known. So if you see them, congratulate them, tell them how much you love the yearbook when you get it. All right. So I'm sure everybody knows James Gill saved us with all the streaming, all the video that he's been doing. Uh, can't believe it. He's probably not editing this uh, video. But I wanted to go back through all the years James has been. If you've been in my classroom, you've probably seen James in there helping out. He's been amazing. Anytime anything is wrong, James is there to help. He also spent his lunches uh, uh, helping people with video back before. Um, You've come such a long way, James, from that uh, freshman that I had in my video class. So love you, congratulations. So Ella Grimm has been in the sports medicine program since her freshman year at Seahome High School. Committing to all aspects of the program, she has been a leader in the classroom, held officer positions in sports med club, and has earned over 400 hours on the field. Ella has been essential in multiple situations where you have had to activate emergency medical services she has shown tremendous personal and professional growth over the last four years, and I couldn't be prouder. Congratulations to Ella Grimm for receiving the Sports Medicine Student of the Year Award. All right, thank you so much to the CTE department. And now to present for the phys Physical Education Department, please welcome Mr. Hofstede. Please welcome Mr. Hofstede. Hey, Mayors. The Mayors I'm about to talk about have excelled in Seom High School Physical Education. They are role models that set the tempo for their gyms. They have class, they're respectful, they're diligent, they have grit. Let's talk about the grit that these people have right now. I'm talking about the mental fortitude to get past the dull pain associated with intense exercise, okay? I'm talking about holding yin yoga for a minute in warrior pose and lasting, getting out to the other side, getting stronger, getting more flexible. I'm talking about doing that 10th rep maxing out with your highest weight and deadlift, whatever you're doing, Jim, and you're just basically going all out and you're fighting through that pain, coming up the other side. That is what I'm talking about, it's grit. These people have that outstanding, outstanding level of grit. Talk about playing badminton, you get a match and you're just dying and you're at the end of it and you know, you just got some of the strength inside to finish and come out victorious, come out the other side. All these athletes, all these students know what it takes. They have the toughness, the grit, to get to the other side, to get past that dull pain, that dull pain, that dull pain that we all celebrate when we conquer it. These are the great Mariners of Seaham High School of Physical Education. Thank you. And here's Andy Dessler to share about our math awards. All right. Hello, seniors. Um, Ms. Dessler here to present the awards for seniors in mathematics. The math department looks to our Seaham Core Covenants for guidance as we recognize the outstanding seniors in this year's graduating class. Our covenants, perseverance in math. That means not giving up when something doesn't come quickly or easily. It requires a positive growth mindset and willingness to ask questions, experiment, make mistakes, and try again. Inclusivity and respect in math is absolutely vital because we gain so much more from sharing ideas than from working in isolation. Mathematics is beautiful. It's open to creativity with problems that become richer when explored from different perspectives. Inclusive students invite others in. They recognize that everyone has strengths and they make sure that other voices are heard and valued. And finally, academic integrity. It means that your learning is yours. Your evidence of growth is your truth. And you leave this place knowing that you were responsible and earned all of your accomplishments. So the students that we recognize today were chosen by their math teachers for their exceptional effort, their willingness to collaborate, and their overall growth in mathematics over four years. 
All these students exemplified the Sea Home Core Covenants in our classrooms each and every single day. So from the entire math faculty, congratulations to these outstanding seniors. Best of luck to all of you, and thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Dessler. And now to present the Science Awards, please welcome Mr. Carter Maiden. All right. Well, every year the Science Department recognizes the seniors that have completed this amazing accomplishment during their four short years at Seahome High School. And the impressive accomplishment is that they somehow managed to complete at least six years of science classes during their high school career. But since you only get to be at Seahome for four short years, this requires students to double up on science for at least two of those four years. Students that complete this achievement receive this highly coveted S6 t-shirt, uh oh, it's upside down, there it is. And uh, congratulations to all you seniors that managed to pull this off and thanks for all your hard work. We're gonna miss you. Thank you, Mr. Maiden. Welcome, Ms. Nyman. And thank you for presenting the English Awards. Yes, hi there. So today I am presenting um, these awards to five students who have really excelled during all their years in English language arts. So English is the only subject in the Bellingham Public Schools that's required for all four years, where skills and content knowledge that were introduced in kindergarten, or actually sometimes even before school in a home setting, are layered and built upon to achieve sophistication of analysis, critical thinking, authoritative composition, and nuanced discussion techniques. The following students have achieved those outcomes. Megan Morrison, Cameron Morrow, Abby Munson, Rowan Munson, and Angela Way. These students embrace literature with an incisive mind as well as an open heart. And they express their insights regarding a wide variety of text in clear, well-supported arguments that intentionally engage their audience. The quality of their insights and thorough explanations of text raise the bar for every activity and discussion. Because of the amount of reading and writing that happens in English, it is not often that uh, a class where students will double up or take multiple English classes at a time. However, these English award recipients have also excelled in drama, world language, and social studies, subjects that require the same basis of analytical thought and the ability to communicate both in writing and speaking and all of that original thinking. With that said, both Angela and Rowan have also taken multiple English classes at a time. So on behalf of the Inclusive English Department of Seahome High School, we would like to honor Megan, Cameron, Abby, Rowan, and Angela for their achievements and wish them the best in their future endeavors. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ms. Nyman. Now we'd like to bring uh, forward to us is Mr. Ryan from the Social Studies Department to present the Social Studies Awards. All right, um, we have a large group of um, seniors that we're recognizing here in the Social Studies Department. And as a group, when we met, um, common theme was we're just so proud of this year's seniors and the effort this last four years and especially the last year and a half um, dealing with all the adversity. Um, we wanna recognize this group here for how they've challenged themselves um, beyond the core um, required social studies class. Some of these individuals with AP classes, some of them with many of our various electives. Um, and you know, we love the way they showed such an interest in learning not just about our country, um, but the history of our world um, and about our culture, our diverse culture here in our country, but also um, more about the global community, right? Um, how they worked and developed over four years, their ability to discuss and debate the issues, to learn more about their beliefs, but those of those around them. And, you know, to learn from these experiences instead of just arguing, right? Um, and we love how they've, we feel have set themselves up to go out there and be, um, you know, contributing members in the community, discuss the issues that affect them locally regionally, nationally, and globally to help be a part of um, the challenges they face with sustainability um, that they're gonna face um, 
over their lives, right? And overall, as a department, we're just really, really excited to see where they take their academic careers. I'm hearing from so many of them, they're gonna to continue to pursue the social studies and um, just really exciting for us as a whole. Next is our inclusivity um, awards. And uh, both Mr. Kudo and I will be presenting uh, awards to six students that uh, teachers and staff within our Seahome community um, want to honor um, for them walking the walk and making our school community a more inclusive place to be. Our first student is Marissa Douglas. She has asked so many questions from history, sociology, and the psychology of humans interacting in her time at Seahome, but it is hard not to think of her for this award. She has focused on diversity issues in the building, and she is a true leader, positively influencing other students. Her calm, thoughtful approach to important questions for all humans shows a level of maturity that many adults don't have. She rocks. Introverts unite. Abby Munson has quietly taken over a role within the United Sports Activities here at Seahome. In the last six plus years, we have seen these unifying programs take hold in our Seahome culture, and young adults like Abby are now stepping up to run and expand these programs. How cool is that? As president of Seahome Project Unify, Abby planned our meetings and coordinated our activities. Additionally, she played four years of unified soccer. We love to honor Abby Munson. Naomi Wallen has played unified soccer for four years and was an active member of Project Unity. Unify, sorry. Hmm. Naomi Wallen has played unified soccer for four years and was an active member member of Project Unify. Another student awarded for the inclusive award is McKinley Baker. McKinley has played unified basketball for two years, unified soccer for four years, and was an active member of Project Unify. Another inclusive award goes to Izzy Jones, who has been a part of peer-centered outreach for three years now. In that time, she has gone on her own journey of growth and has been willing to take our community along with her. Izzy has vulnerably shared her own mental health story with health classes. She has been a voice for Seahome students, to parent advisor groups, to the administration, and often straight up the chain for our district office. Izzy is a fighter, an ally, and someone who consistently walks the walk of inclusion, acceptance, and forward momentum. And last, we'd like to recognize Haley Henderson has a long-standing passion for working with and including individuals with disabilities. She has worked with students in the Life Skills Program, both at Fairhaven Middle School and Seahome High School, as well as participating in our Unified Program. Haley was thrilled to hear about our Unified course offerings this year and immediately made room in her schedule for those classes. Haley leads by example by including her peers in the classroom, on the field or the court, and in our community. Haley definitely contributes to making Seahome a more inclusive place. Congratulations to all those students for your continued uh, work in making our community inclusive. I want to welcome our World Language Department as uh, Senora Hooker and Madam Morrison present the World Language Awards. First, we'd like to recognize the students that have earned the Washington State Seal of, Seal of Biliteracy, showing proficiency in two languages with three or higher on the AP exam or the stamp exam. Congratulations. We'll start with the ASL award. Uh, it goes to Kylie Thramer. Ms. Broadbent couldn't be here, but she wanted to let you know she is so proud of you and all of your hard work. You've gone above and beyond in her class. You will make a terrific interpreter. Keep shining. All right, well, I'm here to present um, the French award and it's a little bit difficult because you guys, I had you for four years. So all of you are stars in my eyes. However, there was one woman that sticks out a little bit more. So I have an ode to Mademoiselle Jones. Dear Miss Izzy Jones, a delightful TA. French one, two, three, four, there is so much to say. From French club to French camp and the Grand Concours, not much else she could do to have a higher score. Your kindness, maturity, and diligent work in your life travels will be your best perk. Je te souhaite les meilleures choses dans la vie. Someday I'll be honored if you come visit me. Bon voyage et je t'embrasse très fort. At Seahome, for you, there will always be an open door. 
Congratulations, Izzy. Hey. <laughs> the, the last award is for Spanish. Um, this goes to Abby Munson. She's taken Spanish for five years and has always gone above and beyond in her studies. She participated in the National Hispanic Honor Society and was co-president this year and an active member of the club for three years. And she also was a super dedicated member of Club de Lectura. Um, best of luck to Abby in her future endeavors and keep following your passion for the Spanish language and cultures. Well, thank you, World Language. And now to present some of our last awards, please welcome the performing and visual art teachers of Ms. Kirsten Dowd and Ms. Colleen King. Ms. Dowd, we're gonna start with you with the Performing Arts Awards. Perfect. These four individuals for choir have been in choir over the years and they are four of the seniors that have been in choir this year. So Ms. Schlichting would like to recognize these people. These two individuals, Camille Kendrick and Elizabeth Stodola, have been section leaders over the years for me for orchestra, so I would like to recognize them. And these four individuals, Mr. Snyder would like to recognize to receive the Senior Merit Awards for band. The, the following seniors have earned status as thespians in the International Thespian Society, and special recognition goes out to Bryn Finley, who participated in eight main stage productions, which is every production for all four years at Seum High School. Thank you, Ms. Dowd. Ms. You're King, welcome. you have some awards now. I sure do. Okay, so as the art department, um, we're so excited to recognize this group of hardworking seniors who have all spent countless hours in our studios, both inside and outside of the school day. Uh, these are really talented artists who are truly the heart and soul of our program. And we're so proud of them and we'll miss them so much. So congratulations. As we conclude honoring our seniors, we want to celebrate and honor these four wonderful individuals for all their service to staff and students over the years here at Sea Home as they move on to some great new adventures. First, we'd like to honor and recognize Jeff Allen, who's been our Sea Home head custodian. He is retiring this week after 20 years in the Bellingham Public School. Thank you, Jeff, for all your work and care that you've put into Sea Home. Have a wonderful and great retirement. And then would also like to thank Matt Boucher, um, Sea Home's educational technology coach. He's headed to Fairhaven next year to teach core. Um, but thank you, Matt, for uh, all your help in teaching our staff over the years with the use of technology, especially since last March. Uh, get everyone up and running to do both remote and hybrid learning. We may not have loved it, but uh, you helped us get there. So thank you so much. Next, we want to recognize Megan Lever as um, our prevention intervention specialist. And as many of you know, she is headed all the way across the country to North Carolina to uh, pursue some more education in her area. And we are so sad um, to see her go, but Megan, your heart and care for students and staff is gigantic. You have made such an impact in our community. We will miss you immensely. However, we are super excited for you and your family and your new adventures. Make sure you keep in touch. Um, we love you. And lastly, Siobhan Walpers, uh, our school psychologist is retiring after 30 years in education and 15 years with the Bellingham schools. Um, thank you for all your service and education and your work and care with so many students throughout the district. Um, we wish you all the best in your retirement. Well, this concludes our senior department awards. Thank you to all of the departments um, and to all of our seniors. Congratulations. We are looking forward to celebrating you this Saturday at graduation. Well, welcome back. You're muted. You're, You're muted. muted. We got to start over. Start over. Where's Maggie? I didn't hear anything. All of a sudden, I just was in. <laughs> wow. Oh, why won't it? Uh, I don't Welcome know. to our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Still muted.